Hello people, and welcome to A Dummy's Guide to Car Parking in City Skylines. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've had this one requested for quite a while, uh, so today we're going to have a look at uh, the main available car parking options in City Skylines in order to generate a car park, both vanilla and modded, so we'll cover kind of all bases today. Otherwise, let's make some car parking, shall we? So first of all, we will cover the vanilla and unmodded way of getting car parks in. First thing you want to do is paint out a district over the area you want the car parks and you need to apply the organic and local produce specialization from the Green Cities DLC. And then there are a couple of different zoning patterns that have a chance to generate a car park. The most popular two and the ones I would suggest that you stick to is a 2x2 and a 3x2 zoning. There is also a possibility of generating a car park with a 2x4, however this asset is extremely rare and also can't be used with the find it and plot the growables mods either, which we'll cover in a second. So I would recommend you stick to 2x2 two two or 3x2 and we'll have a look how long these actually take to come in. And there we go. So that was a little over a minute and a half, just waiting for these green cities assets to come in. Uh, of course, these can now be run in repeated patterns to get them back to back. You just want to save uh, the right amount of zonable space between them, of course. Uh, Railroad guidelines going to mess with us here. So we can bring that down and then hook it in there. And now it's a simple case of repeating and waiting for those zonings to come in. This is definitely the least efficient way of getting car parks in. And unfortunately, the only version of car parks available to console players it does take a while, just zone these up, go do something else, and then come back and keep checking on them. That's the best way to do it. We'll now cover the same method if you're also on PC and playing with Find It and Plot the Growables mod. All of these mods I'm talking about will be linked down below today. So this icon down here is Find It, and then this mod that allows us to place the Growable buildings is Plot the Growables. Uh, we can come into Commercial at uh, the Green City Specialization. And then on the second row, uh, we have these two assets right here that can be placed in at will. So if you're on the PC and you just want access to the Green Cities car parks, then this is a much more efficient way of getting them in. You can see we just happen to have the next one generate behind. So sometimes it can be quick. Sometimes it can take a very long time. Like really a long time. <laughs> like these things take ages to come in. Uh, but this is kind of the base essentials of the Green Cities car parking, okay? It's specific zoning and it's a lot of waiting around until eventually you have a pattern that looks like this, okay? And gives you that car parking aesthetic, if you like. And that's kind of it for Green Cities car parking. There's a couple of assets to choose from. You can take them in different patterns. Of course, you have to bear in mind the zoning squares and sizes to get those patterns in. But it's a vanilla alternative. I don't really mind the Green Cities car parking. Next up, we will take a look at the Parking Lot Roads mod, which is probably my second favourite go-to parking lot solution. Uh, so once you've downloaded the mod that is linked below, uh, you can come into your roads, scroll across to your Road Condition tab, which is where you will find the uh, Parking Lot Road assets. And these do exactly what they say on the tin. They are Parking Lot Roads. They come in three different sizes, 22 metres, 40 metres, and 58 metres, each one. Uh, wider and kind of girthier than the last. Uh, you simply draw them in off of a road like that, okay? Now there's going to be another mod that I highly suggest that you pair with parking lot roads and this is this mod right here called parking lot snapping. This allows the placement of the parking lot decals a lot easier. I'll kind of showcase how this works but definitely grab parking lot snapping alongside parking lot roads as well. So you can now see as the road is drawn out, cars are beginning to come and enter it, although there's nowhere for them to park at the minute. And this is where the parking lot roads, parking decals uh, come into play. Uh, they will snap into the lanes of the parking lot road you've drawn out. You can see that, okay. And then these also come in three different sizes. You can also get a disabled and accessibility park in here too. It's kind of 8x2, 4x2, 3x2, and then individual parkings, okay. So everyone's car park is going to be different. Now when you place these in, you can line them up with the edge. 
Now, do you see how my parking lots are automatically snapping onto the end of the one that I've placed? That is the functionality of the parking lot snapping mod. Highly suggest partnering it with parking lot roads and makes them a lot easier to keep everything aligned. If you do need to come off of your current selection and you don't want it to snap anymore, then you can just hit Control and X and then it will become freeform again until the next time uh, that you place one and then the snapping will continue. So really handy for getting nicely aligned parking spaces uh, with the parking lot snapping and parking lot roads mod. Again, everything is linked down below. And then you can just build a car park off of all your snapping really. This is probably my second favourite solution to getting car parks in the modded game at least. Okay, and then at night time these will also kind of auto illuminate as well. They do come with their own street lights. And then as the AI uh, begins to pick them up, then they will also you know, start parking in here. Another mod I would also suggest pairing with either of these car parking mods that we're talking about today is Traffic Manager. Come across into your gameplay tab and there is an option down here to enable more realistic parking AI. This is going to force the AI to use car parks properly and actually kind of walk to their destination rather than having, you know, kind of like the classic city skylines pocket cars where they just essentially pull them out of their ass and then just drive away. That'll stop that from happening and it will make them use the car parks a lot more realistically. As you can see, you know, we're kind of sat on the edge of a mock downtown in the modular build map. Cars are starting to appear here and, uh, and get parked up. So with the parking lot roads mod, it's also advised that you have an entry and an exit point, kind of have two points of entry and exit from the car park. Um, it will help the traffic that develops in the car park. And if you only have one, I run into problems with that before as well. So make sure it's hooked in at, at least two ends. Okay. And it's just a regular network. It's going to draw into all your other road networks. Fine. You can see how we've just drawn it off of a big tram road here. Okay. So your placements and everything else is going to be different, but this is kind of the basics of uh, parking lot roads and parking lot snapping Two mods that pair very well together and give you a much more aesthetically pleasing and realistic solution uh, to parking within the city. Okay, so the third and final solution that we're going to look at today is big parking lot roads. This is my favorite one. Again, once you've downloaded the mod and all of its accompanying assets, they will appear under the road conditions tab, exactly where parking lot roads did. And we're greeted with these assets right here. These ones are thankfully branded. We have uh, BPL, which is big parking lots. And then you also have your uh, BPL parking down here, just below the parking lot road stuff. So this one's going to take a little more explaining. Um, so we're given three different types of roads with big parking lot and there's different variations of these, some with grass verges, some with black asphalt, but there's only three types of roads. These are a drive, a border and a filler. Okay. So first thing you want to do for people to enter into the car park, they have to enter onto a drive road. Okay. So they're going to drive on that road. And the border roads are going to give us the border of the car park. Now, when you're drawing these roads out, I highly suggest sticking into units or measurements of three. So that can be three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Just stick into a multiple of three. I'll explain why in a minute. So once I have my drive road out, I'm going to grab a border. Again, there's different variations of this border. There's one with a grass verge. There's one with you know, like black asphalt, entirely up to you, but they all function the same. You want to draw in the border roads anti-clockwise, okay? Because this is going to leave the sidewalk on the outside of the road, okay? So I'm going to draw out a little box here that is all measurements of three. And we can see this here, okay? I will show you what happens if we draw in the border road clockwise. Again, we'll go by six. 6 and then 12, back up by 6 and then across. So this is what happens if you draw them in clockwise. Um, just make sure that your border roads has to be the border roads. It doesn't matter with the drive or the fillers. Border roads have to be drawn in anti-clockwise in multiples of 3. Okay, that's going to give you a nice little border frame. That looks a little bit something like that. All right. Next road we want to place after our drive, again, if you want to add in another drive road, 
uh, than you can. Just a simple case of, you know, drawing them off and hooking them into networks. All right. But the border road is still going to hold our main car park here today. So once you have your borders placed in and you're happy with the shape and size of your car park, you then want to come in and grab a filler road. And again, what this is going to do is draw between the middle or indeed draw down. So let's say, let's draw one through the middle there. And you can now see why we're sticking in units of three, right? Because we're going to be leaving a tile free either side. If this wasn't a multiple of three, then your car parking would now be lopsided and you wouldn't be able to use it properly. So with big parking lots, try and stick into units of three when you're drawing out your border roads. Coming down into your parking now, there are a couple of different things that you can do and indeed need to bear in mind with uh, big parking lots. So unlike parking lot roads, these don't come illuminated. They have no lights. You have to do that yourself. But we'll go ahead and get at some parking spaces in. So you can see here there are a multiple different variety and you'll notice that when we try and place it, it says that it can't be placed. You do need road anarchy on for this. So you can see as we take anarchy off, it becomes unplaceable. As we put anarchy on, then it does become placeable. And that's just a simple case of dropping in uh, your car parking and Sims will come and use this. Uh, there are different types of car parking, of course. Uh, we can have a little chat about some of these. Uh, there's places with these little gaps in the middle. And under your fences tab uh, with big parking lot roads, you're going to find these little things here, uh, which are curbs. And they come in two and four meter sizes. And these are meant to be placed uh, right in here. I would recommend no snapping options. Okay, and then you can place these curbs directly in the middle of your car parks here okay and now it's really just a case of you can construct these car parks in whatever kind of sizes and shapes that you wish again google earth is huge for those that uh, like to take inspiration from the real world and you know you can stagger and shatter the pattern uh, where the curb comes in using these curb roads I'll, I'll kind of take you through a couple of different car park designs i found that i like now let's bring this curb one back through here as well. So you can see how we just break the curb and it changes the pattern of the parking. No, it's a nice idea. And you know, why not come into one of our new uh, favorite content creator trees, you know, and then we can place trees on our little curbs as well. Very customizable, this version of parking, okay? So you can get trees and you don't forget that you are uh, playing without any light sources here. So you will need to come in and uh, manually place your own lights, which isn't an issue. Uh, you can download a variety of lights off of the workshop. I've got a little parking lot light here. Okay, and then you can place those in and that's gonna illuminate your car park. And uh, for those with the Move It mod as well, um, this is very easily repeatable. Once you have kind of one island uh, set up, come in to move it and then just grab your trees and props. Give it a little copy and paste with control and C. And then just stick it over here onto this island. And then you know once it's copy and pasted in, you have your chosen car park design here. Uh, again, I can continue uh, to place in my car parking. If I do also want a space where I want people to drive through the car park, uh, then this is where fillers are used again. Okay, so they will drive along the filler. All right, and the border roads as well. You know, you can see the border roads are getting used. And then this might be uh, a nice spot to now include uh, a little bit of disabled access parking. I can see, we'll talk about this in a minute, the clipping, that ha that can happen. Okay, and we've got some disabled parking uh, up front outside the shopping center. Uh, we also get a clipping remover with big parking lots, and this is exactly what this is designed to clear up. If you do get some tearing within the concrete mesh, you just click the clipping remover on it and it takes it away. Super handy. If you want to decorate these parking lots without the spaces in the middle, then again, the same uh, process will still apply. You can see you've got your four meter curb here, uh, just how much wider it is than the two meter one. So I might drop in a couple of little uh, curbs either side of this handicap spot. Alright, and then again, your 
tree palette can, you know, come into play here and, you know, this is where you can really get creative with the placement of all your different parking lot assets and there's so many different variations of these. For those that are following uh, the ILO series, uh, you will know how much we're enjoying these car parks. I have found an issue where some lights will slightly elevate, but just use move its page down function to bring them back down into the land. Okay. So various different kind of designs and methods here of, you know, designing um, big parking lots to function a lot more interestingly. And move it pairs really well with them as well. So this is kind of the base foundation of um, big parking lots. This is definitely my favorite solution um, to getting parking lots in the city. They're a lot more customizable. Not that parking lot roads don't have their place. I certainly have time for them. Um, but big parking lots is just nicer, <laughs> I think. And we can come into Rico. You can grab yourself maybe an asset that you're so fond of. You know, you can grab... You know, let's just kind of go hypothetically ignoring the fact that this is pouring out onto another road. But, you know, you can kind of form little strip malls or retail parks um, off of this sort of idea now. You can you know, place in some of your favorite workshop assets and just create a little bit of a strip mall or retail park. That's kind of what it is, right? You know, it'll, it'll function. These still readers connected, obviously use an asset smaller than this. Don't, <laughs> don't have it spilled onto the road like that. But, uh, you know, you can place them all around the edge and they will still maintain their connection. So you can get some really nice designs. Uh, you know, kind of medical buildings too. Um, I'm a real big fan of, you know, kind of like the the regular med clinic here to sit alongside the car park. And you can continue to draw the car park in and around uh, the back of assets placed in them like this and then wrap the car park around them. So for me, big parking lots is definitely the best solution in city skylines for getting car parks into the city. And I don't forget to also partner them with Traffic Manager and turn on that advanced uh, realistic AI car parking option in the gameplay tab too. Uh, all of these mods and asset collections will be linked in the description today if you want to go and dive into one of these options. But I hope it's helped explain exactly how we can get car parking into city skylines a little easier, both for our vanilla people and the modded players. But if you want my suggestion and you're on the PC, definitely go for uh, big parking lots. It's a really nice, flexible, super customizable solution. I'm a huge fan of it. But either way, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. But I will shut up and I will leave it there. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.